avoid these early game mistakes in Skull and Bones, I'm going to show you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Stay tuned for that. What's up guys, my name is Fup. I'm helping Frankie Boy on this channel with the video production. So I'm going to be your host today. Today we will be looking at 10 things you should avoid or should do in Skull and Bones. The early access is now available. So everyone who bought the game already can dive right into it. And we will start right away with the first tip. Get rid of this ship. It's your first ship and the story will actually guide you through what you need to do to upgrade it. But it's very important that you change it because this ship has no capacity um, whatsoever what you can load onto it. So if you are out there and try to gain resources, you'll quickly notice that you have no space left at all. And it's very slow and can't really fight. You can only hunt some beasts. So it should be the main priority to play the story and let the game tell you what you need to do to upgrade it. And I will actually change my ship right away and go back to my main ship. Tip number two, speaking of resources, you should always gather resources at the start of the game. And what do I mean by that? I mean, for example, these little things, coconut or yuta at the start, these are quite valuable for you because you need to craft a lot of things in the early game. And it's quite neat to already have those things in your cargo and don't actually need to go uh, out. So whilst you're doing your story missions, stop by anything you see and loot it. You'll get this mini game right here where you need to click the green area optimally. I missed it there. And then you get some stuff, which is neat. You have to take a look on your cargo load, like how much you can still carry without being overweight because as soon as you reach that point, you, your ship will be slower. My next tip for you is that you should use your spyglass. In PC, it's default on R. When you use it, you can easily check what ships have on them. So if you want to attack them, or if you'd rather skip them, when you upgrade it, you can look further at the start like right here, you can't watch too far or spy too far, but that will get better over time. For example, this ship right here, I can scout it, see eh, it's not really interesting at all. I can skip it. Tip number four, the next thing you should absolutely avoid to do is selling your resources. There are, like I uh, um, earlier said, many things you need to craft sooner or later and you oftentimes need resources just, yeah old stuff or new stuff to finish that. But also the more important thing, in my opinion, is that in St. Anne, there will be quests where you need specific cargo to trade in. It's basically, I, I think the quests are called like smuggle quests and you need to get gather resources from an, from an outpost or something like that. But if you already have those resources in your bank, you can just use them, instantly turn in the quest like you, turn up there, say hi, she gives you the quest and you instantly turn in the quest. And that only works if you have set resources in your bank. So it's always nice to have some rare materials in your bank for some quick and nasty progress. My next tip is break into those shipwrecks. These are so, so, so valuable, especially when they have uh, some glitter around them that indicates that they are quite valuable. It's the same same thing with gathering resources. You just stop by and press the button on the screen. In my case, in my case it's F and we have the mini game again. At the very start, you can't break into them. You need the specific tool for that. But yeah, as soon as we unlock that and can break into them, break into them, you'll see we get so, so, so much loot and especially rare loot and much money. It's very, very valuable to, to break into these things. My next advice would be that you use different cannons on each side of your ship. Because if you see an enemy and you think, ah, I need to do close combat for, for that guy, and you have like close combat cannons on the left side of your ship, then you can just turn right and use them instead of non-optimal cannons on the other side of the ship. So you can 
infight decide okay which tactic am i going to use of course you don't need that if you know that you always like to be in close quarters then you can equip your ship all around with close quarter cannons personally i like a ranged cannon in the front so when i see a ship and instantly want to engage it that i can just boom shot it I sh shoot it from far ahead give them little time to react maybe shoot once or twice again until they are in the position to attack me and until then i should be close enough to use my side cannons to shoot them you should also definitely and that is my next tip tip number seven seven that's seven <laughs> um always use food cook food and eat it. On the bottom left screen, you see um, a, a, a green symbol. That is my buff I currently have. And if I eat food, there should be more buffs too. And cooked food gives you better buffs. Like that food I just ate doesn't benefit me, re benefit me really at all. I think I don't have some right now on my ship. You should also always make sure you take those with you, uh, take it with you, so you are actually able to consume it. These buffs normally hold for like half an hour, so you should be fine for your journey that you technically could eat it in town. But yeah, I like to keep some with me all the time. Which also brings me to my next tip. Um, always have some specific items on your ship and these items are in my opinion repair kits food treasure maps and quest items you will always need those on your journey and sometimes um like unexpectedly need th need those i mean obviously cannonballs you always need them so keep them on your ship and everything else you can when when you are in town just throw into the warehouse and yeah keep it there here's by the way the commodity trader i mentioned earlier here you can hand in resource quests tip number nine is coming up right now and that is upgrade your ship or your ship equipment the better equipment you have on the ship you the, the better rank rank your ship will get when you are on the sea in the bottom left you see like a little number that is your ship level and if you have better cannons then the ship level will rise i can quickly show you that here too when i go into manage ship and hover over these cannons then you see in the bottom right here that my ship is currently at rank four and when i equip worse cannons then <laughs> my rank will actually decrease a little bit and if i had certain breakpoints then i gain the next level. One quick extra tip I just uh, remembered. When you're in town, you don't actually need to run to your ship to um, yeah get onto it. You can press, in my case, Y and hold it and you are there. That works, I think, for every town. Saves you quite some time. And now the last tip, always, always, always prioritize doing a quick travel, unlock it as soon as you can. And when you are near a town, consider unlocking that town so you can quick travel to that city later. Those cities have these little arrows on here. For example, I can quick travel to this city and to this city. And sailing there would take a long, 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 long time. And I just can hold my button blop, and instantly travel there, which is a lot, lot, like far easier <laughs> for completing quests and stuff. And with that, I will conclude this video. If these tips helped you, consider subscribing. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the near future again. Have a nice day. Your fob. Bye bye.